Welcome to today's unboxing of the B85 Vanguard motherboard. It's the, uh, the Ultimate 4 series from Asus. And this one features a 5 year uh, guaranteed reliability. It's an Intel chipset, LGA 1150 support, 4K, Crossfire, and Windows 8 ready. Now let's have a look at the back of the box. And here we can read uh, the main features such as the thermal radar core, the TUF components. It's uh, undergone a survey grade reliability test and it's got the Digi Plus VRMs. This motherboard also features the new Intel uh, household chipset C2 stepping which does not experience the USB 3.0 problems. The sides pretty uh, straightforward. Now let's check out the box contents. Of course, we're gonna have the motherboard, which we'll put aside for now. The accessories aren't too big for this uh, budget motherboard. We get some uh, front panel connectors, extensions, and two SATA 3 cables. One uh, right angled and one straight on both ends. There's also a TUF inside sticker that you can put on your case if you fancy doing that. Starting off, there's a certificate of reliability for the Vanguard B85 motherboard. We have some safety information. Symbol sheet for the Vanguard B85 motherboard. The five year warranty notice, the B85 thermal radar core guide, installation disc from ASUS, as well as an ASUS sticker, and the user guide, of course. Let's have a little look through it. These manuals are pretty good usually and they cover all important components and aspects. This is the uh, premium grade I.O. panel protector with the added padding for less uh, EM noise. And that was it, the box is empty. Now we'll have a look at the Intel B85 chipset. Asus Vanguard B85 motherboard features Intel's B85 chipset and we'll have a little look at what this chipset does, what it's meant for. This is Intel's budget business uh, chipset for the new Haswell processors with socket LGA1150. Its main features are that it does not support the Intel V Pro technology, which is a OS independent remote access technology, including the monitoring, maintenance, and management of your computers. Intel's small business advantage is a little software suite that's uh, free to use, free to download, and it's uh, designed for smaller businesses that do not have extensive uh, administration uh, networks platforms or even employees and it helps you to kind of do what the v pro is meant for only that it is uh, os dependent now as you as it's a software suite and it helps you uh, do all kind of things like fragmentation software updates uh, backups and all that kind of things this chipset also features four native usb 3.0 uh, connectors as well as eight additional USB 2.0 via the chipset. Um, four SATA 3, six gigabit per second connections, as well as two additional SATA 2, all through Intel's chipset. There's an identity protection technology, which is an added layer of hardware-based security with functions such as one-time passwords, public key infrastructure, uh, protected transaction display, and near-field communication. This chipset is not ISIP eligible, which is Intel's stable image platform program, which essentially helps business upgrade their hardware without having to worry too much about the software and driver side of, uh, of new uh, computer generations. Let's continue having a look at the motherboard now. 
getting it out of the anti-static. This is an M80X uh, motherboard layout. It features passive coolers on all main VRMs. There's on top and on the side high quality uh, chokes as well as a good south bridge cooler. We have the 24 pin and 8 pin power connectors. The first piece I express slot is X16 3.0, the second one's 2.0 X1. Then we have a PCI slot, and the last one's a PCI X16 slot, although it's connected via 2.0 and 4X. We have four SATA 6 bit connectors and two SATA uh, 3 gigabit per second connectors with other black ones. The IO panel connectors are on the bottom, as well as a serial COM port, which you can still use if you want to do that. The back of the motherboard is fairly simple. We do have a little support for the socket. And you can see the uh, first PCI Express is fully connected with 16x. There's the 1x. And the last one is connected with 4x through the soft bridge. Having a look at the I.O. panel, we see there's a PS2 connector as well as two USB 2, full-size HDMI and DisplayPort, dueling DVI and VGA, and the four USB 3.0 with new Intel's new Ethernet gigabit card as well as HD audio. Here's the uh, brown 6 gigabit, two are horizontal and two are vertical, and the two black on the left are 3 gigabit per second. The I.O. panel with power LED, HDD LED, power switch, speaker and reset button. And the I.O. panel, again, a closer look at that. The South Bridge cooler is pretty neat. It features the TUF design. Now the socket 1150 from Intel. I've mounted a Pentium G3220 processor and now with the boxed fan. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.